in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails and my videos. So I guess let's get right into it. So let me just minimize this. So guys, in order for you to do this, you have to have a charging cable or a link cable. This is a method that I came up with. I don't think this is on the internet right now, so this is exclusive to my channel so far, I think. And, um, yeah. Um, so first off, you need just a cable like this. It doesn't have to be the link cable, but you can buy the link cable if you want to play Steam or on the Oculus. You can use AirLink for the Oculus and Steam, but for the better performance, a link cable is needed. But anyways, you can have a link cable or just a regular old charging cable. So all you need to do, have an Oculus, obviously, and a cable, and a PC. And it can be a laptop or a big PC like I have. So I used to do this on my little laptop that can't run VR, so you can do this either way. So all you do is take this, plug it in to your PC, give me a second, there we go, let's plug it in, or if you have a laptop, it would go right here, the charging cable would go right there, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, again. and now all you do is take this, Plug it in your Oculus, and then make sure you have the stuff you need to do Quest Link. And there you go, you hear it, so that means it's connected. Now just go into your headset, and you'll see this thing pop up right here on the screen. Um, just click Allow Access to the Files, and then you should go record you a clip, and then Files. Go to this PC, and there it is, Quest 2, double click on it, double click on International Storage, and if you're looking for videos, go to the Oculus function right here, double click, and you can go to Screenshots or Video Shots. For our purposes, we're doing a video, so we would click on Video Shots, so double click on that, and it has all of your recordings you will ever need in life. But so anyways, um, so you just hold on it, and like I have a file named ZC Plays, so I would just drop it into there, and then it would start downloading to that file from your headset to the PC. So while we're waiting on that, um, so I will have a link to all the stuff that you need in this video. I'll have a link down in the description. Also, go join the Discord server. Also, link in the description, but it just finished, so go down to ZC Plays, and here are all my stuff, including thumbnails, everything I basically need for a video, and so just find the one that you wanted, like, say, I'll just do this one for this video's purposes, because, um, yeah, so, like, I'll choose this one, because... Why not? Um, and now, this is where your web browser comes into play. So now you just need to go to a new page, obviously. And, okay, so go to the link in the description, and it will say Pixlr Editor, basically. Free Editor. And this is how... I cut out the background in all my videos. So now you would have a image, like say I want, uh, I don't know, say this image right here, and I use this one for a thumbnail. Well, if I can find the image, so I might have deleted the image. But anyways, um, I'll just find, no, that's a video, dang it, um, that's also a video, alright, here, I'll use this one, I use this one for, alright, 
so I just started a new project, and I used this one for my latest roleplay, first episode, so we all get into a pose for the video, and let's go to here to this little wand selection, and now your mouse should look like this, now just click on anything that you want to delete, and just hit the delete button on your keypad, and like, I want the people, so, well, I don't know, but anyways, you can basically, it takes a while, but you just delete everything that you don't want, so I don't want this candle, or torch, delete, and you just delete everything that you need, I won't go too in depth, it's pretty basic, you just find an object, click on delete, and delete what you want, there, or, this sometimes doesn't work, I'll, the second one is, the second link is background remover, so I'll just open that up, and this is, I have two methods, some of my videos look, thumbnails look different than others, and I'll show you why in just a second, so now, um, just pick out, say, this image, and sometimes this does not work, sometimes it does, but... So, just wait for it to get done. It's still loading. My internet is kind of garbage right now. Alright, I think it's done. Yep, it's done. So, see, it cut out the umbrella and some of my hat, but it didn't cut out this hand. So then I would just download it and then take it back into Pixlr. But, yeah, so that's why the Pixlr is easy, easier. Well, it's not easier, but it's better. Because, see, it exit out some of the umbrella and this stuff. But this is probably the hardest thing you can do. Now, I'm going to be showing you how I do some of my newer videos. Instead of going into Gorilla Tag, taking a picture in the mirror, just um, go to the link in the description. Go to Blender. So, yep, there it is. So just click download. And it should download, right? As soon as it loads, download Blender. So just click on this. Uh, click on the version, the latest version. And uh, like you can click what, like if you're on Mac, you click that, Steam. Windows, all that stuff. So after you've started the install, a pop up will be here saying that it, it's basically done. You just basically like you're installing a normal app like Steam VR, Discord, something like that. So then after that, just go open up Blender. And I'll leave a link to the rig that I use. So just delete the cube and go to File open and don't save you can save it if you want but it's really nothing so after you go to the link in the description it'll take you to where you can download this gorilla tag i key rig blend file so you just download it and put it in like, your downloads folders or like does any folder or like desktop if you want to put it on music pictures whatever you want and then just click on it and then click open Right, there it is. So, um, I'm going to delete. Where is it? Oh, there's my camera, so I'm just going to delete this. So, it would spawn in, like, with its hands by its sides, and it wouldn't have lava on. But I'll show you how to do lava mode. So, just go to make sure you're on object mode, or else it won't work. Click on the actual monkey, not the lines, not the rig. So click on the actual monkey and zoom out a little until you can see this and just go over to it and use the the middle of your mouse like where you would scroll in and out just push down on it and then you can move around like this but so anyways you can so my lava is on 100 so I'll put it on if I went on 0 there it goes oh I also have the D stone down zero 
So anyways, this is what it would it should look like normally, but it'll be a, obviously a different color in a different position. But so to change the color, you just go here, make it like for my videos most of the time I use a teal color because that's what color I am, and then like for this video purposes. I'm showing you how I made the thumbnail for this video. So just go to lava and put that on a number. Does any number really works? Any number that you think looks really good, but like don't put it like one 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 one. Like don't do stuff like that because it probably will mess it up. So just make it to like a hundred because that's the highest I think you can go. But now it looks like a normal lava monkey right and now you if when you get the colors and everything that you want like if you want it to be ice you can put ice on so I'll just show you it's the same thing as lava just go over to ice put 100 and there you go it's ice monkey from the hunt game mode but like I said earlier for this purposes for my purposes today in this video it will be 100 for lava and that's it that's all I have on and now you are done with this so now you can just click on this rig right here just click on like here so you can either do that but only like don't click on the monkey just get those little lines right there get the lines so it should look like this and now pose mode will be here so just click on pose mode and now you can click on any part of the rig so this part, I'll show you what the rig does. So this this block right here makes you move the lava monkey up and down, up and down, up and down. So just get him in the position you want. And also, um, to move it like naturally and not using these arrows, just click on it and then on your keyboard mesh G, and now you can just move it around with your mouse. So like, just get it in the position you want. Kind of like this. Like that looks pretty good. Um, now, once you get it in the position you want, oh, uh, this, I wouldn't mess too much with this, but this is like, it just does that. It just rolls your arm around. So I'll get it back where I had it. And um, I think you can move the fingers, but it's a little tricky. No, you can't. You can't. Okay. But so, anyways, you can. It's kind of hard to get the head one. But you see that little line right there? Just click on that. And there, you have it. And now go into the turning function. And just turn your head whichever way, whichever way you want. Up, down, side to side. Basically, anything you think looks good for your thumbnail. Like, that looks pretty good. So now, all we are going to do is go to back to object mode guys and now go to add and camera so there's our camera so you just want to drag it to like the front the back right, the side whichever way you want it to be looking at your player is where you want to move it so just move it like that and then click to view what your camera looks like just click zero on your numpad and that's a little off so I will also um give me a second if you hold down shift and then like do like this like you would normally look around just hold the shift button and you can drag across your screen like mm, that looks like a good one like that's in a good position, right? So now just go out, mash zero again to go out of the camera view, and now we only have a couple more steps until we have it. So go to render, render image, and then that's what it will look like. And it depends on how powerful your PC is, how quick you'll finish rendering. It can, like, it can take like like it did for me. Like it can take a couple of seconds maybe a minute if your PC is like really not powerful at all but now just when you think it looks really good once it's rendered 
just go to image save as and don't click save click save as and go to downloads or wherever you want to put it for my case I'm going to put it in downloads I'm going to change the name to like long key it doesn't really matter what you call it just as long as you know what it is when you see like monkey I know what that is but so just click save image and then now it will be in your downloads folder monkey there it is so now you can exit out of all this you can save it if you want to but now go back to your web browser where we just installed blender and everything and now you can go to remove background upload image and since this is a different method it works when you click remove background instead of removing some of the stuff that you don't want removed it removes everything since it doesn't have a background or you can also also you can I'm not saying you have to but you can add cosmetics to your player model in blender I'll show you how to do that just in a minute and also guys for the actual photo editor I will use sometimes I use one or the other but in the description I will have a link called pho photo P right and United Project or no Ugh, I don't even uh, I don't know but anyways so there it goes it deleted all the background so just download this and there it was it was right there so it means it downloaded where did it save you to where did it save it to there it is monkey remove preview alright so now you can either go to this one which is oh that's what it's called PixArt which I use for quite a few of my videos um, you can go to PixArt or go to Photopea but just to be honest I hardly ever use Photopea but I will do a little tutorial of how to do stuff in here so new project and make sure it is on these this size right here so width needs to be 1280 and the height needs to be on 720 if not it won't work so just hit create and now it's just a blank image so now you can just open your files and because I want the monkey so make sure it says remove BG remove BG just drag it in and there's my monkey there's my player right I normally go into actual gorilla tag and like look at some of the trees and take a snapshot but just for this video it's faster just go to your search open a new page go to the search bar and just type in gorilla tag oh did that wrong tag forest map and there you go it has a lot of pictures that you can choose now it might take me a while to find the exact image but like it can be Why is why why did this pop up? Why I'm not. What, where's all the um search? What? I'm stupid. Why did it do that? Okay. Yeah. The tag. Wait. Why don't I put a space there? Or Wait. All right.
forest map. Alright, hopefully this works this time. So you click on see more. Alright, yes, it worked. So like just find a image that you like. Like this is the exact one I use, so just click on the image that you like. Let it load. Make sure it's the one that you want. And just click on the right of your um, mouse or the right on your keyboard to pull up this and just click save image as and then call it whatever you want I'm going to put it on ZC plays and just click save and there it is it's done so now go to PixArt or Photopea which is where we already did but um, now it's the same thing just go to ZC Play. Um, find the image. Here it is. Drag it in. Oh, make sure your monkey is above. Make sure it's above the image so it appears like this. And I. Sorry, guys. I have to delete it. This software doesn't like me. This is why I don't like it. Because if you exit out right here and go click 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 it gets rid of this and you can't click back on it it's really weird but just wait wait, wait I forgot shift and then you can okay I forgot I forgot that so to stretch it normally and not just make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger just click shift and drag it. So shift, drag it. Shift, drag. That's a good size. That looks pretty good. So now go to text. And then, uh, I'm still figuring out how to use this. Um. I'll, I'm sorry guys, but I still don't know how to um, do text really good. I know how to, but for some reason it does not work. It's not working for me. Oh wait, 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 wait. Loading. Oh, no, it's still not working. So, oh, it is loaded. It is loaded. Um, no, so. um, I don't know. For some reason, this website doesn't like me very much, and it won't let me add the text. But I'm sorry, guys. You'll have to watch a tutorial, or if your web browser lets you do it do it I don't know why mine's not letting me but you would put like I since this would have been for how to make relative from or like how I make my videos but I'll do it in here since this is actually where I made the video for so yeah so I basically all I did since I couldn't get the text to work I just went to file export and make sure you click on PNG right and then just save it to whatever you want so like this and new project name it and then just save but I'm not gonna do that since I already have it and there it is so oh also go to your uploads right here and then go to upload and find the picture and just click open It'll download a little and it'll be here or it'll be the newest one. So there it is. It's in my image. Just like we did earlier. Just shift and then pull. Shift and pull. But I need to make this. It's not what we need. Needs to be 
Wait, wait. Um, here it is. So just YouTube thumbnail. There it is. So there. So now just hit shift. And make it the right sizing. Shift. Drag it like that. So there we go. And go to text. And here's the one that I use a lot in my videos. There it is. Now just like double click on it and delete all the letters and like how wait what? How I there and it looks kinda awkward. But because in my I normally stretch it out and then it looks like like the gorilla is holding the letters. It's a little tricky to get hold of some of this stuff. There you go. So how I make my videos. And that is the thumbnail complete. Just go to export and make sure it is on. Well, you can't actually put it on ping, you're just GPG, that's fine too. It's just not going to look as good. But just go to download, click on download. But you can, if you want to, buy the, buy this so you can have more text and everything. And just, then you'll have access to it. Just hit download, and then it'll download to your files. Um, so, like, I need to actually download it. And then you can either create new, continue editing, just go create new if you want to. And then it should, should be in your files. So it's not in there. There it is. So then after I do that, I can just drag it onto ZC Plays. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. That's it. I do not want to open it. But so anyways, make it a title that you don't already have. For some reason it won't let me change the title, but you would put ZC plays. I'm gonna see which one of these. Oh, oh, oh! I don't want to replace that because I just made that. But anyways, guys, that's how you make a thumbnail. Now I'll show you how to make a video. So I, for live streams, I will do that in this video as well. So just go to Streamlabs. This is what I'm filming on right now. So. Yeah, um, but so basically all you need to do is do like new sources and such. I'll do that in a later video, but I use Streamlabs. It's really easy to set up and everything. I was able to set it up, so if I was able to set it up, you probably can too. But I'm just going to minimize that. So I'll do that in a later video. But my editor is called Wondershare Filmora. And I have the 12 because that's the latest version for me right now. And you just go to create project. And here we are in my editor. So click here to add um, footage. Um, I'll use this. So here's me playing no clip. Uh, you can match or keep. It really doesn't matter. It's just the prime frames per second. Um, yeah, they have a new update for it already, even though it just came out. But anyways, so this is me playing, and you might notice this from the deleted scenes in my Discord server. I put some of this in here when I get stuck. But anyways, um, my editor, you can simply, if the video is paused, drag 
and just match this cut thing so I don't really want the beginning so just delete and also at the end of the video just go to the very go to the end where you open your menu to stop recording and just cut that out we don't like that you don't want that in your videos it just looks bad So there it goes, and then the video just ends right before you open your menu. You can go to tiles, which is how I do my intro. So go to mine, and then here's my intro right there. So my intro, just drag it in. Wait till they have this. And for my purposes, I do ZC. Plays. And I put this to join the Discord and subscribe. There. That's what my newer intros look like. And at the end of my videos, I always have. Most of the time, I have this one. So, you'll do thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. But recently, I add extra text to join the Discord. And then, when I do role plays, I will have cast. So, like for my most recent role play, and it actually has not been released yet. It is coming out at 4 o'clock today, the day of me uploading this. But, so, anyways. Go check it out. It looks, it's really cool. But um, so anyways, I at the end of my role play, I would go in and go to credit one and be like ZC plays or like whatever you want it to be there. Like like this, you could just do this. Like you could put editor, filmer, whatever you need, but. In this video, I normally don't use that. So now, you can add audio, so sound effects, and such. Like if I want Monkey Island, let me turn it up. So I use. I use this for the trailer for my thing so I'm just going to use that like sometimes every video I'll change my intro sound but so now my intro will sound like this so now it it's like this, or like, or like if you want really quiet music in the background of your video. Like, in the background of your video, you can do that. Like, you just find the song that you want. They also have sound effects. I haven't really done sound effects. Oh, I will show you how I do some of my sound effects. Um. I used to do them like this, just I would go to YouTube. Also, big shout out to Shadow VR. His channel is really cool. And dude, if you're watching this, thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining the Discord. I really appreciate it. But go subscribe to his channel. Make sure all notifications are on. And he has really good thumbnails and videos. Like really good. Like look at that thumbnail. That looks amazing. And then, so, I just go to, like, funny. Whoops. Funny me. And, like, I just find, like, a sound. 
it's not like copyright, it's just sounds like means sounds sound effects. Like I've used this one, like the Adamika. We know So just wait for it to load and everything. Is the driver. And none of these are copyright. So just Alright, so like we'll be right back. No God So like Alright, so if I want that, I if I like really want that sound effect, just go to media media on that and then go to record record from screen and then here we go and just record three two one and just click look at this dude <laughs> wait till you see the <laughs> no 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 <laughs> no no so that's all I want, so just go back in here, and I have to do this because it won't let me do it the other way. But so there it is, there's my recording, you would put it on here, and like I really just wanted the no 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 one, right, so I'd go delete the Windows one. Oh, I forgot. Just drag this thing off the screen so you can't see it. <laughs> so like that, basically. And that's basically how I make my videos. I just edit them and basically do all that. It's a pretty easy process after you get a hang of it. But, guys... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.